<laughs> Morning guys, as always, it's Friday o'clock. Friday o'clock? It's that day, it's that time of the week, it's fine. 11 o'clock and as always, we've got a little bit to tell you about the Prescient Freedom Paddle. As you can see, I've traded Richard out for a better paddler. That's debatable. Uh, we'll see, I think so. Uh, Rich has run away, I don't know where he's gone. Uh, but I've got Ant Lake with me this morning. Morning, how's it going? And there's a reason I got Ant Lake here, and that's to highlight one of the interesting factors about the Freedom Paddle. The Prescient Freedom Paddle is multidisciplinary. We've got rowers, we've got prone paddlers, they're lying down on a giant surfboard, we've got stand up paddle boarders, and we've got single surf skis, double surf skis, and triple surf skis. And Ant's one of the very few people, if not the only person, who's done singles in a surf ski, doubles in a surf ski, and triples in a surf ski. Yeah. So I've got to ask you. Which has been the most enjoyable? The most enjoyable was definitely the one I did in doubles with my buddy. Um, I think, you know, company makes racing good and so being able to do such an iconic race around Robben Island, Table Mountain in the background as you're coming in um, with my dad, like, it was a really, really cool experience, so definitely doubles. Yeah, I can vouch for that. I did that, the triples with my family last year. It was fantastic, so much fun. Um, well, how does the S2 class fit into that? Because we're focused on the S2 as a race, so that's a racing class. You still did it with your father. Did you get caught up in the race? Yeah, a little bit. I think, you know, those, those natural competitive instincts always kick in a little bit. So, you know, when you're dicing past the guy and there's a little bit of a bump, you're going to chase it. Uh, just try to get that meter ahead. I think as we were coming in, there was another father-son uh, pairing. The son might have been eight years old, but, you know, <laughs> we still had to push ourselves to take them over the finish line. So then the S3 class. It's the only time I've done the race has been in an S3 class. I had an absolute ball. What did you make of the S3? Yeah, I think the na S3s are naturally a little bit more social. Um, there's obviously fewer in the race and they're going to be more spread out. But yeah, definitely from a social perspective, they were great. I mean, the, the size of the wake of that boat just attracts all the other boats um, yeah, towards it like a whale and little guppies. So, <laughs> you know, you, you definitely feel like you're the, the mothership going through the course there. Yeah, we definitely want to see the S3 class grow at the Prestian Freedom Paddle. If, you, if you're chairman of a club, think about grabbing one for your club. They're so much fun. They really, really suit the club environment nicely. Talk to me about the singles. I think it was the very first year we ran the Freedom Paddle. You raced in a single. What was that like? Yeah, so the singles was fun. I mean, it's obviously a lot more comfortable and natural in your singles that you've trained and raced in most of the time. But I think in a, a race like this, which is more geared towards doubles, you definitely felt a lot lonelier. Um, I think we went after the doubles or before them. But either way, they weren't with us for very long. Um, so yeah, look, it gave you a lot of time to enjoy the course and the scenery um, without too many people to bother you. Okay, okay. So if you're into solitude, singles may be where it's at. I've got to ask you, are you going to be the first one to do all the disciplines, prone, coastal rowing and uh, supping? That's what's missing? Well, I think that's that's quite a step. Um, maybe maybe we'll try the rowing one day and get to enjoy Table Mountain on the way out as opposed to on the way home. Coastal rowers, you've got a new recruit. Get a hold of him. I'll send you his details. Um, guys, a little bit of admin. If you haven't finished your CSA portion of your entry, but you've done the first part of the portion of your entry on the Freedom Paddle website, please complete the CSA portion. I've got about 30 people who are sitting in limbo there. And the next price increase is on the 13th of sure. March. The price goes the up again. So yeah, exactly. Get those entries in soon freedompaddle.co.za. Have a fantastic weekend of paddling. We'll catch you next Friday.